Okay, this is an example of the Tipman X7 Phenom, uh, new programming for the stock uh, eGrip. Um, what we've done is uh, taken the, the chip from inside um, without desoldering it or anything. We've written new software for it. Um, and you, you hook up to it, write the new software to the chip, and uh, you, you have different mode, modes uh, that we're programming into it. Um, anyway, so right now this is going to be a demonstration of how to program it in the various modes that we have so far. Um, so right now when you first burn the software onto the chip, you will be in full auto. Um, I think right now it's probably set to 30 volts per second, but the default is 20. Uh, with a max up to 40 right now. Uh, so full auto. Um, to enter programming, you turn it off and push and hold the push button, turn it on and hold the button for two seconds, release. You'll get alternating red and green to indicate that you are in um, programming mode. Uh, and this particular menu is now the firing mode. You can pull the trigger once to change the menu. Now you're in fire rate with the rapidly blinking green LED. We're gonna go to fire mode first and we're gonna push and hold the trigger for two seconds and release. Now you're in the firing mode menu. Rapidly blinking red LED is uh, full auto. Pull the trigger once. This is three round burst. There should be three green, or three blinking, or three blinks for the green LED. Pull the trigger one more time and you'll now be in auto response, which would be uh, one blink green, one blink red. Pull the trigger again, and right now those are the three modes we have, so you should be back at full auto. So since you've uh, seen full auto already, we're going to toggle over to three round burst. Pull the trigger and hold it for two seconds, and release. Solid orange means that it's writing to the EEPROM, and now we're back to the main menu. And now let's go over to rate of fire. So pull and hold that trigger for two seconds. And it's going to blink for the current number of uh, balls per second. I'm not going to count them out right now, but let's reset it to, uh, let's say, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the 11th, you pull and hold. Release. Orange means it's writing. And back to main menu. So now let's turn off the gun. Back on. Should be in three round burst mode. 10 balls per second, which so should be relatively slow. And it is. So now, let's go ahead and uh, change the programming mode to auto response. Firing mode. Pull and hold the trigger. Uh, this is full auto, three round burst, auto response. Orange, lighting to, writing to EEPROM, off, back on. Auto response right now has no cap, uh, so the balls per second does not apply to auto response. So fireball on trigger pull, fireball on trigger release. So very useful for a rolling trigger or double trigger um, or just single trigger. It's pretty nice. Um, and that's basically it. Um, so let's go ahead and do programming and pull the balls per second back up. Programming. Rate of fire. Push and hold. It starts counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30. Pull and hold. Writing EEPROM. Done. Oh, it's on auto response, my bad. Full auto. There you have it. There's our new programming uh, available on the Google Code website. Um, Phenom X7. 
uh, eTrigger. And uh, we'll be posting instructions up there on how to program your eTrigger shortly.